Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 daily news video with me, your host, Blackwell. It is Saturday the 25th of December, but I'm doing a video about Friday the 24th and Saturday the 25th. We're putting them both together, all right? So um, what we're going to do is talk about the dailies and all that stuff today. Uh, this is technically Friday's video because I don't normally put a video out on Saturday. However, it's Christmas, so I'm putting a video out because, well, I missed yesterday's, so that's how we're doing things. I hope you are well. By all means, we're just off the back of a Twitch stream, so if you do want to go over to our Twitch channel and drop a follow over there, it is twitch.tv forward slash Blackwell TV. There it is. That little link above me is where you need to go. Drop a follow there and join our community. Also got a Discord available and other bits as well. Uh, so feel free to like and share and subscribe to the channel here and also to the Twitch channel as well. It does me massive, massive amounts of favors and helps me with the YouTube algorithm and gets my content shown and seen by more people so we can grow the community. Um, in today's video, we're covering, when, uh, we're covering Friday and Saturday. So... We're going with the dailies that are available. We're looking in the Atom Store, we're checking the daily ops, and we're seeing what's available for the weekend as well. There's a couple of things that are going on at the weekend um, that I want to sort of uh, make sure you guys are aware of and make sure I'm aware of it as well. So, we've literally just finished a stream. We're still in the game. Let's take a look at what we have been up to. We'll start off with the dailies, because the dailies... You've got seven and a half hours left on them. These are what they are. I've completed them all, so I know what I'm doing with them. Um, but it is to build a floor or wall decoration in a workshop or a camp, complete a daily op, complete an event, eat five meat-based meals, um, complete five of these for your gold star, kill for three festive scorched, level up, and visit your shelter. They're the dailies for today. Obviously, yesterday's uh, from six o'clock into now. So they're going to update, as I say, in, in seven hours time. So you've got a bit of time left on those if you are in game today. Now, this is Christmas Day, so you might not be. You might be busy. So fair it in mind. Fair, fair it in mind. Yes, fair do's and bear it in mind. Uh, the weeklies. You've got your repeatable that always stays active until you hit level 100. You've got to collect 300 gold bullion, complete five daily ops, complete your gold star daily challenge, complete 10 events, Kill 10 Festive Scorched. Kill 5 creatures out of the following. Super Mutant Behemoth, Deathclaw, Grafton Monster, Killer Megasloth, um, Myla Queen, Scorch Beast of some sort, Sheep Squatch, Wendigo Colossus, or a Hermit Crab. Level up 3 times, hunt a crop in a workshop or a camp 15 times, and visit another player's shelter. Hey weeklies, hey dailies. Let's move on to the daily up. So the daily up today is Uplink. It's a nice easy one. Apart from the boss at the end, kind of difficult. But in the burning mine against um, against super mutants in a team, it's relatively straightforward. Um, we're in the burning mine. We're up against super mutants who slow you down on attack and they've got greatly enhanced perception. So there's no armor piercing there, but obviously you can't really use your stealth um, or you can't sustain stealth. So, uh, so bear that in mind. Good luck with your travels on the daily ops. Might be one that's good enough if you team up with some people to get your five done for the week. Moving on to the Atomic Store. Now, I did throw this out there yesterday. Yesterday or this morning? I did. I threw it out there regardless. Um, let's take a look and see what's going on in the Atomic Shop. So, the update is nuclear key cards are free for everybody, so take one of those. Um, the Santatron is still free as well. And the Candy Claws Paint. The skin for the Mole Miner Gauntlet, my main weapon, I'll be honest with you. Um, I've got a bloodied God Roll um, mole miner gauntlet. So for 350 of your finest atoms, you can get a new skin for your mole mining gauntlet. Um, I don't know how many skins there are for the mole miner gauntlet. I think there's only one. So you might accidentally scrap it if you don't have a skin on it. So make sure you do put a skin on, like this little fella here. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Obviously, I'm stood in a bright light, but it changes the uh, the Mole Miner Gauntlet from a yellow into white and red, which is, it's quite, I mean, it, it's quite Christmassy, but it's also not. Like, if you saw that in March, you wouldn't think it's Christmas. <laughs> you don't go, why are you wearing a Christmas outfit, you know? It's just, it's a nice skin. 
And because it's an Atom Store skin, it means that when you go to scrap your, your gear, it doesn't show up. So you can't accidentally scrap it, you know? Which is really nice. I don't think you can accidentally sell it either. We've got a queue here at the moment, so can't really check that one. Um, let's have a look here, for example. You can't accidentally scrip it either because it's got an Atom Store skin on it. So it's for 350 Atoms, you can ensure that your Mole Miner Gauntlet, whatever it is, you know, it might have faster swing speed on it. It might be junkies. It could be aristocrats. I don't know. It stops it from being scrapped. So that's quite useful for 350, you know, and it's tree fitted. So there you are. Um, the weekend events on at the moment, I believe you've got Minerva's big sale on. She's up at the crater and you've also got um, your daily challenges are worth double score. So they're worth 500 each and your level up's worth a thousand. All right. So you can really get through some of them um, scoreboard levels today. Um, where have we got? Where have we gotten up to? Let's see. We just got a new flooring. Which we'll use eventually, but it's not suitable just yet. We're next to look at the Watoga jumpsuit. And another power armor and some more atoms. Cool. Um, we can just head back to our camp, so we'll do that just quickly. To show you what we've got so far in the Holiday Scorched, we got some more holiday gifts today. And we've got two new plans to take a look at. We've got curtains. And we've got a new wall lamp. Now, I think this new wall lamp's pretty good because you can hang it over things and it works as intended. It's not too bright, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a moment. But essentially, it's here on the wall. I've put it just drooping over the piano. So you can see how you can overhang it on items, doorways, things like that. Um, it's not as bright as other lights in the game, which is always a welcome addition. It's a really good ambient light and it doesn't disrupt your piano playing. It actually helps because you can see the keys. So there you go. We'll take a quick look at it so you guys can see eyes on what it looks like. So it's a pump handle from a gas station and it's a lamp that hangs down from it. It's called the Red Rocket Gas Pump Wall Light. Uh, let me just head into my shelter. And I'll show you what I mean about light brightness. Because you don't have sort of adjustable light settings in this game, it's kind of difficult to get a light that fits the uh, the vibe of the room. Let me get rid of that and I'll show you. So we've got two lights here that are default, part of your vault, okay? Um, now, you may think to yourself, okay, well, we've got lights like this in the game. And that's what I thought as well. So if we go to the lights in our uh, build mode, build menu. And then we find the light that's similar. It's sort of that, isn't it? They're sort of, they're very similar lights. Obviously one's upside down in comparison to the other, but you, you would think, okay, if I put that there, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna emit the same amount of light. But then you place it and it's just, it's a di just completely different like brightness. Um, and it sort of knackers up your ambience a bit there. So you can't turn it down. You can just turn it off or turn it on. So it's it's very important, especially when you get in the ambience of um, a camp, to get things just the right level of brightness, you know? So it's really useful to have lights that have sort of different brightnesses for that purpose. Obviously, you can have smaller lights that'll do a better job and all that stuff. So let's see. So that's a very sort of neutral light, isn't it? And they're obviously quite warm lights. So with this new one, I think it could be very similar to these lights that we've got. Oh, I mean, that's a bit 
I thought it'd be warmer than that, to be honest. So, but you see how the lighting is a, a, a bit less sort of blown out. And then obviously you can place that somewhere to make a, a better ambient light. If you can place it sideways, that'd be better. Oh, wow. It, that's interesting. So if I got snap mode. Okay, so snap mode is now off. So I just place that inside? What the heck? Hmm. So in vaults anyway, you could very easily sort of set up different brightnesses based off that and hmm. It's a very interesting item anyway, that's what I would say. Um, I'm sure build creators will be really useful and really tidy with it. Um, well, let's go back to what we were doing. I had a light, didn't I? What was it? It was the Red Rocket guy. I think it's wall decoration, because some of the wall decoration have lights on them as well. Where are we looking here? This one. So this one was placed in maybe there, and that offers a you know, a warmer light. So that's why I've got that one on there. But yeah, there you go. So that's one of the, the items that we picked up. And the other one is tattered curtains, which I feel is a bit weird for a Christmas item, but we're going to take a look at them as well. There are several curtains in the game already. So if I if I get this wrong, I do apologize. But I believe it's the, the white curtains that are the uh, holiday scorched item. But as I say, we'll take a look at all the curtains. And we'll see what's going on with them. We just need to find a window to put them on. Ah, here's a window. Let's take a look. So it'll be a wall decoration. So we have tattered red flower curtains, which have an Atom Store item on them. So I think that's Atom Store. These ones here are tattered flower curtains too. So if it's these, then these are what they look like. As I mentioned, they're not particularly Christmassy, but just a new aesthetic you can have on your build, on your base, on your camp. If, if it is these ones, I might be mistaken. So that's the ones that we're looking at. Uh, just to go into detail on the other curtains that we have. So they're the ones we just looked at. We've got tattered red flower curtains as well. But again, they have the Atom Store item on them. The blue ones, the blue bat ones have the Atom Store item on as well. The villainous red velvet ones have an Atom Store item and the red curtains have an Atom Store item on them. So I'm assuming they aren't found by plans. They're actually probably found by um, going to the Atom Store. And then you've got the wide curtains. Again, Atom Store, Atom Store, Atom Store, not Atom Store. So I assume it's them that you get with the holiday event. That's Atom as well with the red long curtains. Red flower long curtains, Atom Store. Villainous velvet long curtains. Atom Store still, Atom Store. And then these ones as well. So it looks like it's the, the flower curtains or the white curtains that you get from the uh, the Holiday Scorched. Actually, they're nicer. I'm going to use them. I don't like these red ones. I'm not going to be able to snap that out of there, though, because this thing's in the way. Oh, really? 
I need support. Okay. Let's pop that out of the way. There we go. Yeah, I like how it's coming together. Need to probably move that popcorn machine over a little bit now. Let's see what we can do. Let's get that over there. There's one more thing I want to do before we leave here today. Let's pop that there. This is our new water purifier, by the way. Vintage water cooler. This thing here allows you to collect purified water without planting it in soil. So you have to bury it and dig for soil or um, through the soil to get your water, which is really cool. Right. Place that there so it's nice and straight. Good. That needs to go back in the corner. It's going to go there. Um, yeah, one, one thing I want to do is change the floor in, in here because we recently picked up a um, stars floor, military stars. And I wanted to see what that looks like. Okay. I mean, I'm not a fan of it, to be honest, but it's new, so that's what you do, isn't it? It's okay, it does the job. Um, I would put the new rug in here, but it doesn't really suit the theme of the room at all. I, I, the floor doesn't, to be fair. I need to move that back. Because this is supposed to be a broken down house, and this is a brand new wall floor, sorry. So... We are actually going to go back to stone, but that's a quick look at what that looks like. There, much better. Um, we got a new rug as well. That is inside here. That's the new Nuka Cola rug. I don't know if you've seen that already. Can't remember if we've shown that already, but there you go. That's that. And we've got a new ally set up. Not really spoken to her yet though. Catherine Swan. Customize would be pretty cool. Let's get that customize on on the go. Um, it's Christmas. We got any Christmas outfits? I don't think we do actually. No, we need to get a Christmas outfit I suppose. Hot dang, Mr. Sidekick outfit. Hold on a second. Let's do that. There we go. We'll give him a camo suit for now. Just in case a, uh, a nuke comes along. So there we go. Santa Tron's out in the wild now. The reason that I've done this part as well, by the way, is if you put your Santa Tron right on the edge or your any kind of Collectron right on the edge of your settlement, they will roam outside of your settlement and it looks more organic. If you have them right in the middle of your settlement, then they'll just roam right in the middle and they won't really branch out. But right on the edge of the settlement, they'll just wander up and down the road next to your house, which is quite cool. So I'd encourage people to do that. Right, last thing I need to do is head down to Dabney because I need to collect my copper. And that'll be it for today and the weekend as well. We'll be back on, I think, Monday the 27th. So make sure you have a splendid holiday. Um, festive period of gifting and caring and being among those you love. And if you can't be among those you love, then think of them fondly from afar. Let's say that. The age of technology means that you can Skype them, WhatsApp them, um, Zoom call them. And you can still have those Christmas arguments when you spend too much time with each other and you're too similar. And you end up arguing just after, just maybe just before dinner because you're hungry. Yeah, standard Christmas stuff, right? 
Absolutely. And he wouldn't have it any other way. No sir, e Bob. Don't hold back on the foods. You know, say yes to that extra mince pie because why not? If you put on a couple of pounds, just work it off if you need to. In the new year. That's what it's for. That's what everyone else has to do. We'll be okay. We've had two years of surviving with this pandemic. Time to flourish just a little tiny bit. Obviously keep social, social distancing and all that stuff. But don't forget to have a little fun, you know? There we go, I've got my copper. I'm going to leave this settlement, I'm going to leave the server now, so if anyone wants it, they can come and take it. But from me, for now, take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic Christmas. And I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. On to the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.